We Bambuceros work at WSU Puyallup every Saturday from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Join us! On Saturday, July 18, 2009, we started our work party with a messy, thick grove of bamboo. We avoided dragging on the easy path. A wasp nest had fallen into the middle of the path. Yeah. The farthest 25 foot by 25 foot plot is Philostachys rubro marginata. We thinned it the end of June. This plot is Philostachys nuda. We thinned it last Saturday. The dark mass of canes is yellow groove. Winter snow weighted down the canes. Wasps nested in the mass of leaves. We remove leaning and broken canes. The vertical canes are ones that came up this year. As the thinning of the grove continued, it became prettier. That one wasp-ridden, leaning mass remained. While Rob thins within the grove, Bill cuts the poles into six-foot lengths and piles them. Later, WSU staff hauls the poles away for shredding and composting. You can see the organic research vegetables in the field behind Bill. So you're gonna to try to get all those? Wow. Oh, here, I hear the buzzing, but they haven't horned in on us. The wasps are gone. The leaners are gone. See the crooked canes typical of small yellow groove. The remaining canes are young and have not fully opened their leaves. WSU researches organic farming. Behind the barn are the vegetable beds and behind the vegetable beds are the groves of bamboo. Bamboo is a grass. Sheep love bamboo. The double electric fence protects the sheep from coyotes. It is solar powered. Don't get burned. WSU is studying organic methods using rotation. The fields rotate through vegetables, cover crops, sheep, and chickens. Kill the chicken. They're just too cute. I want a baby chicken. Oh boy. Andy, you know you put the wedge in there, they kind of go out to the side. Uh, we got one that's not walking very well. Come on, guys. Okay. Oh, I see. You have to move it. Can we put this up on our website for comedy? Thing. Oh, it's stuck. Hi, guys. 